just call you out over there, Nick? But it is fun to have these meetings, and I keep getting to look over at you, and I see you doing paperwork over there, and you come over and you get coffee and snacks, and you kind of go back and forth. It, I, I don't know. I just wanted to say hi. We're the unsung heroes. Uh, yeah. 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 That's an acceptable update too. You can be like, see, we're great. Who wants to follow that? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't remember what I did for my birthday because it was in January and I guess I'm too old to remember but anyway I know and our, and our anniversary is in August but I can tell you what we did at our anniversary last year because we do the same thing every year and we got it Larapin <laughs> so that was an easy one so I wasn't going to say anything but then I got to thinking well it's kind of interesting um, some of you know what I've been doing but some of you probably don't but one day about, this is a rotary project. I, I ended up kind of in the mother of all rotary projects. Uh, about a year and a half ago, the fire chief came to be our speaker. And he was, uh, it was in, he was the new fire chief. And, and he was talking about, you know, the fire district and, and oh, he needed a board member. And he was looking around the room and he went, because the fire, di the Arcata Fire District is set up in, um, in wards, so, uh, I lived, he knew where I lived because he, when he was a kid, he fed our animals. So he, yes. I, I just have a quick question about that. You don't think that was a setup in any way? <laughs> I don't know. It could be a conspiracy. Okay. Uh, but, so, so I said, okay. So I did it. And I thought, well, this would be, you know, when you retire, boards are kind of, you, you get on boards. And so, it was the mother of all boards that I've ever been on. I mean, you know, it's a great organization, but there were a lot of issues. And um, he, he took over a department that needed a lot of fixing, and the board has kind of recycled over. I think we only have one board member left from the original board a couple of years ago. You know, we have a new board. We've been through collective bargaining with employees. We just signed a new contract. Um, there, there's a fiscal crisis that, uh, so we've been shaving every dollar that we can. It's turned into multiple committees. <laughs> you know, Lisa asked me, how many committees are you on now? So, uh, uh, but you know, we're, we're kind of pulling it out. It, it, your fire district was really going into a nosedive there for a while, um, big time. And, and, our president being a former member there, that's why he's nodding, he knows. Anyway, I'm, I'm very pleased to report that, that really the, the organization is, is coming up very well. Uh, a lot of you know, new strategic plan. Uh, we know where every dollar is right now. Uh, you know, no, no more fuzzy math, you know, as some public agencies have been known to do. You'll be hearing more from us, but, but the, the main thing I want you to know is that uh, this is my Rotary project. Uh, it's, it's turned into a big, and, um, and we hope to be sending some people in to kind of give me an update as to, as to what's happening, but, but we're not out of the woods yet. Um, but we do have to do some things to, or we're gonna end up closing a fire station. So uh, we'll get back to you on that. But uh, anyway, I just thought, uh, People ask what I've done since I retired, and I said I've joined the fire department. <laughs> and that's a huge thing, and it's definitely a rotary related project because we've been involved with the fire department in multiple ways for years. So, thank you. There are lots of people who haven't talked. Sister Chan, everybody, it's always good to know what's happening with everyone in the club. Did Sarah, give an update? She has. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sarah's next. Jennifer, Sarah, you're next. Um, one great paper is back here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I just finished year nine at Arcana High. So, Thank yesterday. You. Yeah. Um, but Jessica brought up going to see national parks, and my husband and I celebrated our. 10 year wedding anniversary and we went to Zion back in March, even though our wedding anniversary was actually June 6th, which is the 75th anniversary of D-Day. 
I teach history, so. <laughs> uh, but Zion was amazing. In March, we went without kids. That was our first time traveling without children. It's been years. <laughs> that was fun. Um, graduation was fabulous. It's always bittersweet, kind of emotional time. You have these kids in them for four years, and that's tough. But Dave Navarre, our principal, did um, give a pretty great shout out to Sunrise Rotary yesterday at graduation about how much um, this club does for that school. So that was really awesome to be recognized like that. And yeah, the 10 percenters is always amazing. I had every single one of those kids and they're incredible. 20%, I think it was even more than 20%, had above a 4.0 or higher. So we just saw just the top 20 with like four point crazies, but twice as many of those kids had 4.0. I mean, just nuts. It's, it was it was a pretty incredible class. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to get my grades on this weekend. And yeah, and so my life now shifts from teacher to swim mom over the summer. So I go to swim meets almost every single weekend in the city. We're heading to Willits this weekend, Reading next weekend, and then the Bay for most of the rest of the summer with my daughter. So that's what that's what we're doing. Would you like to explain why you threw Sarah under the bus there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you? She's a new baby. I do. So, last Tuesday... <laughs> last Tuesday, I adopted a puppy. Yeah. Uh, his name is Coda, and he's, like, red. He's just, like, a mixture of all the dogs. I think his mom was a but he looks like a pit bull. So um, that's kind of what I've been like obsessed with the last like week off. But other than that, my daughter, my oldest child, graduated from high school uh, May 31st. So she's gonna do an internship probably with the tribe. Either she's she can't decide between natural resources or veterinary medicine. So she's gonna intern there with natural resources to see what's like. And, I switched careers. I was a child welfare social worker, now I'm in mental health. Um, I got my credential in PPSC, the Pupil Personnel Services credential for school social work. And in October, I'll be ready to test for my license to be a clinical social worker. Yeah. All right, so people learn a little bit about fellow Rotarians. Anybody else? Just love chance. Okay. You guys can find it out. <laughs> oh, I just want to say Nashville is really fun. I just got back from there the beginning of this month for my bachelorette party. I had 12 wonderful friends put together an amazing 40 bachelorette party in Nashville. So, highly recommend it. And now that the fun part's over, I guess I should send out my invites for my wedding. So, <laughs> that's in two months. No, wait a minute. Maybe it's over. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, invites. <laughs> anyway, so my sister's wedding is next month, and mine's three weeks later. And your parents love you for yes, it. Yes, they do. <laughs> um, let me see. I have had a crazy spring. I actually took a class down at Sonoma State, an educational data class. So I traveled once a week all the way down to Sonoma State for a five o'clock class. I was teaching a class for the first time at Humboldt State in the Master's in Education program. Um, and somehow we fit in a three-week vacation to Europe. So Maggie, we were in Sintra and Lisbon and Porto. And if you ever get a chance to take a river cruise up the Douro River, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's amazing. I was not a port fan before that trip, and when you taste 50-year-old port, you'll change your mind. Beautiful trip. Nice.